Stenson duct, also known as parotid duct, is a salivary duct. It takes saliva from parotid gland into the mouth. Parotid gland is major salivary gland. Opening of Stenson duct into the vestibule of the mouth, the region of the mouth between the cheek and the gums, at the parotid papilla, which lies across the second maxillary, upper, molar tooth. The exit of the parotid ducts can be felt as small bumps, papillae, on both sides of the mouth. Clinically, Stenson duct is important because of diseases which can affect this duct. Sialolithiasis. Sialolithiasis is caused by salivary duct stones or strictures. Resulted in a mechanical obstruction of the salivary duct, causing repetitive swelling during meals, which can remain transitory, or be complicated by bacterial infections. Salivary duct stones is composed of varying ratios of organic and inorganic substances. The cause of condition is thought to be first bacterial infection and grow, further calcification and add organic and inorganic components. Siloliths, or salivary stones, are the most common disease of the salivary glands in middle-aged patients. More than 80% of salivary siloliths occur in the submandibular duct or gland, 6% to 15% occur in the parotid gland, and about 2% are in the sublingual and minor salivary glands. Sialolithiasis commonly diagnosed and treated by dentists and otolaryngologists. Typically stones less than 2 mm in diameter can be treated without surgical intervention. A conservative approach, including oral analgesia, hydration, local warm heat therapy, massage to milk out the stone, silagogues, i.e., tart hard candies, to promote ductal secretions, and discontinuation of anticholinergic medications when possible are recommended. Traditionally, recurring episodes necessitate treatment by open surgery. In most cases, removing the stone will relieve pain except when an associated infection exists. Antibiotics covering oral flora for gland superinfection are recommended. Another important pathology is Stenson duct stenosis. Symptoms consist of recurrent painful swelling of the major salivary glands, especially after food intake. This often leads to a marked reduction of the patient's quality of life. Salivary duct stenoses are a relatively rare pathological condition and are often diagnosed in specialized centers. Cancer. Stenson's duct carcinoma is an extremely rare neoplasm, with fewer than 40 cases reported in the literature. The tumor usually presents as a buccal submucosal mass with elderly patients more likely to be affected. 